Hello, yeah, we are live. Medyo nagloko ang aking internet. Hello, hello, hello. Good afternoon, everybody. We are live. It's me again, David. Kumusta po kayo? Kumusta po kayo? It's actually, um, it's actually my break time. And you know, every time it's my break time, I do this daily live. And before we start, we are in the beautiful neighborhood of Jiugoka. Diba? Silent neighborhood. It's a really nice neighborhood over here. So yun po, um, again, the intention of this live video is to inform people of our amazing business opportunity while also learning what it takes to become a successful entrepreneur and unlock your full potential through personal development because that's also my goal. So whether you're looking to start your own business or develop your mindset or just looking to get better every single day, you came to the right place. So yun po, um, let's go straight away to the topic. It's actually raining a lot this morning. But oh, thank God, huminto na po siya. Hindi na kailangan magpayong mamaya habang naglalakad po away. So let's go straight to the topic. This week has been focused all about um, growth. Foundation of growth, meaning ano ba yung kailangan natin, yung, ano, ano ba yung what we need, what are the basic um, values that we need to develop in order for us to grow as a person not only personal side but also the business side so right now we are going to discuss like a topic that i really want to be better at one point i want to be a master of this at one point and in order for you to become a master of uh, a thing or a va or or a skill or a value you have to practice it you have to practice it what am i talking about i'm talking about enhancing your communication skills because communication is really important like communication to me is the bridge to point to lie between confusion to clarity so if you know how to communicate clearly if you know how to um what do you call this how to say and how to what do you call it um uh sa dulo ng dila ko um, how can you like say it in a nice way to your people or to your um, kahit, kahit po hindi po clients, let's say, to your family members, to your wife. It's really, really important. It's really important po. So I can give you guys, um, I can give you guys four benefits of why building a good communication skill is really crucial in a, first in a business personal development and all of the things related in your personal goal so first one why is it important number one if you are really good at communication number one the benefit importante, it builds trust nakaka uh, nakaka build po siya ng trust meaning if you are a leader if you can communicate clearly if you can elaborate your feelings or your vision ito, this is this is really important your vision if you can clearly say your vision to your people or clearly say the things to your clients to your wife to your spouse or to ever to whomever you are going to build trust ako po pag may isang tao magaling magsalita hindi lang sa magaling magsalita magaling mag-explain and magaling kumonek i feel i i feel like i i already trust them so it's really important number 1 it builds trust Let's go to our number two benefit if you are really good at communication. Number two benefit is it motivates and inspire. Diba? Every, every good leaders use communication to motivate. Me personally, I like watching motivational speakers like Tony Robbins, one of the goats. Kundinyo po kalala, searches now. Tony Robbins. He's really one of the guys that I really look up to, especially in this. <coughs> Excuse me, but medyo pa po ako kasi I'm coughing because I work with kids. Commercial lang po. I work with kids. I work with like um, young, young kids. And young kids, they like to touch everything. <laughs> and they're like, they don't want dirty, pero you know, they don't have any sense of hygiene pa because they're still learning how to be hyg hygienic. So, Medyo nahawa siguro sa mga bata. But it's okay. 
my immune system can can manage. <laughs> so yung pangalawa, every good um, leader that is um, that I look up to, they're really good at communicating, really good at um, sharing their vision, sharing their goals with enthusiasm. Lat na mga motivational speaker na pinapanood ko when they say something with passion, when they say something that they will clearly like um, outline their goals. I strongly believe them. I really recommend if you wanna be motivated or be inspired because this is also a practice for me to get better on their level. Watch Tony Robbins, watch um, uh, Ed, Ed Milet, watch uh, Mel Robbins, all of those um, people. I have a lot of lists, but I can put it in the comment section later. But those are the thi- those are the people that I really really look up to. Magaling po sila magsalita, and if you are really good at communicating, if you are really good at speaking to your people, you are going to motivate and inspire them. So that's number three. Oh, sorry, number two. Now let's go to number three. What is the benefit of you are if you are really good at communicating is you can resolve con- conflict. Mareresolbahan niyo po ang away and challenges because, like we all know, business side, personal side. Conflicts will happen. This is inevitable. This is something that you cannot, you cannot control. At one point of the other, magaaway ka rin ang asawa mo. At one point of the other, you are going to have conflict with your workmate. You are, you are going to have conflict with your clients. And if you are really good at communicating, you can resolve these conflicts. You can resolve this conflict. And it's really, you say, misunderstanding misunderstanding will happen at one point by if you are listening clearly if you are listening and para isa pa sa mga pinaka importante um, in order for you also to become a good communicator first you need to know how to listen how to listen you gotta listen so um, if you are really good at listening and if you are really good at like talking kung ano yung mo and what happened and what do you want to resolve it will uh, it will actually um help you resolve the conflict. Mas lalo pong maintindihan ng taong sinasabihan nyo o ano ba nang gusto mong mangyari. So that's the number three. It resolves conflict. And on our number fourth benefit, if you are really good at communicating and if you are a master communicator, you will clarify expectation. You will clarify expectation because the roles, you can say the roles, you can say the task clearly to your, to your people, to your clients, to your spouse, to your parents. And this will also reduce confusion. So yun po, those are the four benefits that I can give you guys. Let's do a quick recap before I say goodbye. The first benefit is, first benefit of becoming and enhancing your communication skill is you build trust because people are trusting you better, especially if you can elaborate or clearly state your feelings, clearly state your goals, clearly state your vision, people are going to trust you. Okay? Number two, it, res- it motivates and inspires. All of the people, all of the leaders that I follow, they're really good communicators, meaning they're really good at like expressing themselves clearly, expressing their vision clearly. And I don't know about you guys, but when I see a really good speaker, I'm really motivated and I feel inspired because I, I aspire also to be like them. When like this, like this is also one of the reason why I'm doing this uh, uh, live stream is again is to inform you guys for, with our amazing business opportunity. That's the first reason, and number two, I want to be able to inspire people um, by through personal development because when I did the switch in personal development, I really felt a massive change. Massive change po yung nangyari sa buhay ko simula nung Inaayos ko po yung sarili ko, yung mga pagkakamali ko, yung mga ugali ko. It's really nice if you're improving every single day. Lalong lalo na po if you have kids. If you have, kasi mi po, I have a daughter. Her name is Zoe. I want to be, uh, gusto ko po maging isang mabuting example sa aking anak. That's why I'm also doing this, is for me to be able to be a good, um, good role model to my kids. And to, for her to one day look up to at one point that's why i i i want to be stri- I, I i want to be better every single day for my family and for my daughter and for all the people that i love 
So yun po yung dahilan and <coughs> let's go to the number 3. Pasensya na po, inubo ko. Um, it resolves conflict. Nakaka resolve po ng ng challenges or ng ng misunderstanding if you are really good at communicating. Meaning kung meron kang problema at nasasabi mo ito ng maayos and you are actually saying the truth, mas lalo kang paniniwalaan ng tao at mas lalo silang mas lalo silang magiging um, recall this. You can connect more meaning mareresolba nyo ang challenges, ang away na nangyayari in between you. So yun po ang number three and number four. It clarifies expectation. Pag meron po kayong, as, as a leader, for example, ikaw kunyari ang manager ng isang kumpanya, meron kang mga tauhan, pag ikaw nakapag-communicate ka ng malinaw sa kanila kung ano yung mga dapat nilang gawin, kung ano yung mga task na, kaya, na dapat nilang gawin, mas lalong nagiging klaro ang mga task ng mga tao mo. So it's really, really important po na maging master ka ng communicator. Ako, isa sa mga pangarap ko maging master communicator, Meaning, gusto ko mas lalong ma-express ang aking sarili. Meaning, mas gusto ko lalong makatulong at matruan ang mga taong gusto ng pagbabago tulad ng mga taong nanonood at yung mga taong gusto mag-level up yung buhay nila. Ngayon po kasi yung one of my goals and in order for me to go to move the business forward as well, I want to be able to help people. Gusto ko rin sila matulungan going towards my goal. Because this business that we are doing right now, If you are helping other people achieve their goal, you're both going to be successful in this business. So yun po, those are my, those are my um, tips to you guys. Yung intention po ng video na ito, again, is for, for, for me to be able to, to share this amazing business while also learning what it takes to become a successful entrepreneur and also unlock your true potential through personal development. So yun po, maraming maraming salamat sa inyong oras. Before I end this um, live, gusto ko lang pong basahin yung challenge. Parati ko nakakalimutan to ngayon. Ayoko siya makalimutan. <coughs> so, a question and challenge po, sasagutin ko para magkaroon kayo ng idea kung gusto nyo magkaroon ng self-reflection uh, is how can you improve communication with your team and your clients? Ako, may improve ko siguro Me, first of all, by reaching out. Siyempre, paano ka makikipag-communicate sa mga tao, sa kliyente mo, sa team mo, if you are not reaching out? I would do, gagawin ko po, I will reach out, kukumustahin ko sila, at susubukan ko pong ilagay yung sarili ko sa kanila. Just put yourself in their position. Ito po yung tinatawag natin, empathy. Para sa akin, mas lalo kang makakapag-communicate ng mas maayos kung linalagay mo yung sitwasyon nila sa sitwasyon mo. Para mas lalo mo naiintindihan ng mga tao. Yun lang po yung aking personal na answer. So, sana ho makatulong sa inyo. And my third one, yung challenge po natin. Have an open, constructive conversation with your team or your client. Ako po, personally, dati nung bata ako, hindi naman bata, nung teenager ako, pag pinagsasabihan ako ng isang tao, kunyara sabihin nila, uy, baguhin mo naman yung ganito mo. Baguhin mo yung ugali mo dito. Baguhin mo yung... Pag pinagsasabihan ako ng magulang ko, pag pinagsasabihan ako ng... Pag, pag pinagsasabihan ako ng mga teacher ko, ng mga professor ko, kung ano yung dapat kong improve, ayaw ko yun. Ayaw ko po yun dati. Parang feeling ko, it's an attack. Parang feeling ko, ina-attake ako. Tinuturuan ako ng dapat kong gawin. Pero, hindi ko iniisip na gusto lang naman pala nilang makatulong sa akin. So, kailangan po natin baguhin yung mindset natin. Kung meron taong nags- nagsasabi sa atin ng kailangan natin baguhin, ibahin natin yung ating mindset. Isipin nyo, baka naman, uh, baka naman talaga gusto ko lang nilang tulungan. Baka naman they really want the best for you. Hindi siya atake to you. Yun po, maraming salamat. I'm gonna end my live stream there. Um, I hope na nakapag-add po ako ng value. I, I, I hope na nakapag-add po ako ng value. Hello po Ate Lea. Salamat sa panunood. Thank you for watching. Good idea. Salamat po. So, um, yun po. I hope that I added value sa inyong hapon na nakatulong ako in what, what, what sort of way sa mga taong nanunood at sa mga taong makakanood dito mamaya. Um, that's my goal, makatulong sa inyo uh, I will see you guys again for my next live tomorrow so bago po ako magpaalam uh, papakita ko po ang reels <laughs> reels kung saan ako tatawid sana walang tumawid na tren ang ganda po ng area na to Geo Gauka. pakita ko lang po bago ako magpaalam 
Nice. Yan. Yung school, yung school ko po nandun. Babalik na po ako. Pupunta muna ako 7-Eleven for ice cream. Maraming salamat po. Salamat po sa mga taong makakanood dito mamaya at sa mga taong nanonood dito ngayon. Thank you very much. See you po tomorrow in my next live. Thank you.